Hey everyone, welcome to Brothers of the Woods Outdoors. Hi, I'm Dave Bunnell, and on this particular hunt, I find myself in Central North Carolina two days before the season ends. We as a team have been trying to get some in-your-face action from our secondary camera, the Ultra Pro X, mounted on our strutter decoy all season long, and it just hadn't worked out. But on this particular hunt, this long beard comes running in from about 100 yards away, and does he put on a show? I'm not going to say any more. Just come go along with me to this tobacco field in Central North Carolina and watch as the action unfolds. Well, here's the situation. We had a bird goblin up here on this upper field, but it sounds like he's pitched the other way. Once again, we got the de decoys here, and he's behind us. He just screamed another gobble. So I'm kind of like in the scenario I was last year. He's behind me. I'm going to have to let him walk right past me to get to the decoys. I'm a nervous wreck. Self-filming is tough. Let's get ready though, he sounds like he's moving. I'm coming the field behind me, and he's went up to the top field. He's not gobbling as much. I saw two turkeys, so a hen might have got with him. I don't think he wants to come to this position. So it's my move. I've got to go to work here in a little bit, so I don't have all morning to sit here and wait him out. So what I'm going to try to do is ease on around this top field and meet him halfway. Call him around that field to me. It's a chance I gotta take. There's only three days left here in North Carolina. And it's supposed to rain all day tomorrow. Let's make our move. I'm gonna call at him one more time to make sure he ain't coming. He's moving. We gotta, we gotta go. We gotta go now.
right, guys, well, listen. This kind of tells a story, but I'm going to tell you the rest of the story. First off, I want to thank the man upstairs for blessing me with this bird, and I want to thank my good friend Craig for allowing me to come hunt his farm. Um, if it wasn't for the two of them, needless to say, I wouldn't be here right now. But anyhow, what a great morning. This bird actually was roosted right in these trees behind me, and we were set up in the other field uh, through this little finger of woods, and uh, he was gobbling at us. When he flew down, he actually went the other way, and he came back, and I saw him in this field, and I thought he was going to come to me, and he didn't. He, uh, he kept going over the top of the hill, and when I caught at him at last, I could tell he was moving away, and I thought, I have to make a move. So I jumped up and grabbed the strutter and left the hen behind, and I crawled out here in the field where I saw him earlier, put the decoy out. I didn't have a good tree to get up against, so I got some cover behind me there a little bit, and I was basically, you know, I was out there a little ways, but I had to do that in order to get some good footage when you're self-filming. It's really tough, but uh, it all worked out just fine. Once he came to the top of the hill, saw the strutter, he came to the arena for a fight, and boy, did he put on a show. I actually put the bead right on his head where I always do, and I got to second-guessing myself and thought, man, that's awfully close. I better cheat and hold a little bit low, and I pulled it, put it on the base of his neck, and I pulled the trigger, and uh, down, down he went, like my buddy Jim says, down goes Frazier. But uh, my fellow pro staffer, Darren Dye, hand loads me some tight, tight shells, and I got a little scared, which I shouldn't have, but it all worked out. So uh, I want to thank you for watching Brothers of the Woods Outdoors. Stay tuned. We've got many more hunts coming your way.